What's up, guys? And welcome to part one of rewrapping my car. So if you've been following me, you probably know that my car was like this really nice lilac color before. I dropped it about two-ish years ago. Um, well, I didn't take care of my wrap like you're supposed to, and I didn't use uh, pH balanced uh, wrap safe soap on it or any of the things you're really supposed to do to take care of your wrap. Horrible wrap owner. Point is, now I have to rewrap it. Honestly, it's not the worst thing in the world because I kind of spent the last year and a bit focusing on finishing my degree and uh, running my business and a whole bunch of other things. Um, so I haven't really been doing a lot of car stuff. Also, not a bad thing, not complaining, but the Subi hasn't broken. It hasn't broken in the last year and a half. I really had nothing to fix. So this will at least give me something to do. So we have the car. Um, stripped down now for the most part. Um, it's on my little storage wheels. Uh, my best friend sand uh, the car down in some areas where it needed to be reprimed and sanded and all that kind of stuff. And I'm just not a bodywork person, so <laughs> I let the bodywork expert do that. Um, I still need to unwrap the trunk, which I don't really want to do, so I'm going to procrastinate on that and start taking apart the doors and taking off the trim and the mirrors and everything that needs to come off because I don't want to unwrap today. But anyways, I just thought it would be cool if you guys could follow along um, as I'm wrapping the car because when I wrapped it the first time, it was like 90 degrees out and I was so hot. I was sweating. I was angry. I was moody and I just didn't, I, the goal was to video the whole thing and show you guys, but I just got so angry working in here when it was that hot that I just gave up halfway through. So hopefully since it's winter time and I have a nice little heated shop here, now I can kind of walk you guys through how I wrap my car. Okay. So. Uh, wrapping a car is very much uh, similar to painting a car uh, in that your wrap job is only as good as your prep work. So um, first things first is to take off all of the molding. Um, after all of like the molding and strips and all the things that you're going to want to tuck the edges under because if you don't tuck and you just cut around the molding and stuff like that, um, when the heat of the sun goes on your wrap or the heat gun or whatever, it's going to shrink and then you're going to see the color underneath. So your wrap is only as good as your prep. Once all of the molding is off, you're going to go over the car with a microfiber. I use rubbing alcohol because it'll take off any like films or anything yucky um, that's left in the paint on the paint. You can also clay bar your car ahead of time. I don't really do that. I never really found that was necessary. My wrap held really good last time for like two seasons um, and it was fine without doing that. I just use rubbing alcohol. So we're going to start on that now. So you can start on your wrap really anywhere you want to in reality. You can kind of start wherever you feel comfortable. Um, however, I found last time I started on the fender, um, cause it's kind of like a good sideways surface where I could kind of stretch it over, um, and see how the wrap worked rather than trying like a huge, huge surface, like the hood or something that I could screw up really easily with bubbles in the middle. Um, so I found starting on the fender was, uh, best for me. So I'm going to go ahead and take a bumper and everything off now. Okay. So I find it easier myself. Um, to wrap with the panels still on the car until I get to the very last stage where I have to tuck um, and then I take them off. So for right now, the fender is actually going to stay bolted onto the car um, and then I take it off after to kind of tuck around the edges. It makes it stay a lot better, I find. Um, but I do need to take the headlight out for that, so I'm going to do that now. I will say this is much easier uh, now that I've done it once before. Um, I kind of know how everything comes off, so it's actually going pretty smoothly. Uh, now I'm going to move on to the doors, the mirror, and the, uh, the top uh, weather stripping. Okay, so now that that's done, uh, the 
driver's side mirror is off um, along with the window trim. Uh, I still need to take off the top trim, uh, the top of the door, um, but the weather stripping up top uh, is also off. Um, other than that, I'll show you the wrap. Normally when I wrap, I wrap up past because the seal goes to about there where it starts coming down the door. So I tuck up and underneath there, that way it kind of overlaps the seal. Um, so that's why I take that off. And then same thing with the mirror, that way you can kind of get underneath there. But it's pretty easy to take apart. Alrighty guys, so I am running out of time, so I'm going to stop there. Uh, that concludes part one of rewrapping my car. Huge, huge shout out to Vivid Vinyl uh, for sponsoring me on this wrap. I'm super excited. Make sure you like and follow for part two because I'm going to be revealing my wrap in that video. I'm super excited. Thanks for watching, guys.